Hey y'all, I'm here at Lowe's and I had to get some lights, but I thought I would look at some Christmas trees and tell you which trees I would and which trees I would not buy. I would not buy a tree like this. So all of these are plastic and they're gonna be very hard to work with to put your ribbon in. Um, this one's a little bit better because it has a little bit of a mixture, but still this thing, like if I wanted to put my ribbon in there, this thing doesn't even bend. I wouldn't recommend that one either because it's too flocked, too much flocking. And the branches you can tell are don't bend either. So I am not a fan of the balsam hill trees. So here is another example of these do not bend that well. Like if you're trying to secure, this is not wired, this is not wired, this is. And so when you're trying to secure your ribbon, you have to find one all the way back in the back right there. So that one would work, okay? But these things are gonna be hard to work with. You can't put your ornaments on these long needle pines like you can this short needle pines. So I would not recommend this tree either. This tree is good, okay? Because look, all of these branches are bendable. They're exactly the same. I could put my wire through these very easily. They're small, right? So I can wrap my ornaments around them. The other thing that I like about this tree is I can move these branches just like this, right? So if I have a longer ornament that I wanna hang, like from right up here, I have all of this space that I can make room for. So maybe I wanna put some back in the back like that just to cover up the trunk, but I have this area. So I'm looking for something that I can maneuver and I love the branches on this one. The one I really liked was this one, not a bad price. If you like the farmhouse look, um, I'm not a fan of pine cones. You know, I'm more of an elegant girl when it comes to decorating, but these branches do not bend. Like you could just put, you know, big ornaments in it and wire it. You won't be able to put a lot of ribbon in this one. So I'm not a fan of the long needles. It's just really hard to get your ornaments around those needles. A lot of flocking. You see how it, get, it has the flock all the way to the trunk? Like that's, to me, that's just not very realistic to have that much snow in the middle of the tree. I'm not a fan, this is pit berries. This is pretty, I think this is pretty old fashioned if you ask me. Um, I don't think I would, and you could put your ribbon in here pretty easily, but it's hard to wrap your ornaments around branches like this. So when you have the plastic tips that are very thick, they don't bend, you can't attach your ribbon, but you can back here in this one. This one you can bend pretty easily and keep your ribbon and stuff like that. This is short and it is stiff, so if you wanted to hang a, a little heavier ornament on the tips, you probably could. So I'm kind of okay with that one. Just some of the things that I look at when I am trying to decide which tree to buy. Let me know if you have any questions below. I hope this helps.